A rent relief program meant to help struggling landlords and tenants could be facing some challenges. A new report from the Wall Street Journal says building owners across the country are turning down money from the federal rent relief program, claiming it has too many conditions. Desiree Montia is on your side to tell you more about your rights as a tenant. Congress approved about $50 billion for rental assistance to help prevent evictions during the COVID-19 pandemic. This includes help for landlords and tenants struggling to make ends meet, but there could be some roadblocks to get this money. A recent Wall Street Journal article says some building owners across the country are not participating in this program, mainly because they say it comes with too many strings. The majority of landlords in Virginia, certainly in the greater Richmond area, are participating and are doing so willingly because they realize, as I think almost everyone realizes, that pay and stay is better than go and owe. Martin Wegbright from the Central Virginia Legal Aid Society says he's seen many landlords in the area participate in rent relief programs. However, if a landlord does proceed with an eviction case because you didn't pay your rent, he says they need to follow these steps. The landlord since November, the middle of November last year, has to give a written 14 day non-payment notice to the tenant that not only gives information about the rent relief program, but also says to the tenant, I will apply on your behalf during this 14 day period, unless you have already applied. Wake Bright also says it's important that you keep records of your conversations with the landlord about your rent relief application. If your case ends up in court, Wake Bright says you need to go. They need to explain to the judge what the landlord has done, what the landlord has failed to do, what they have done and that they have not um, in any way failed to cooperate with the program. Wig Bright also tells me that not every tenant is eligible for rent relief. He tells me that that's only qualified for people that either lost their income or have increased expenses due to COVID-19. On your side in Richmond, Desiree Montilla, MDC 12 News. Thanks, Desiree.